Read them lads and lasses, how we're doing and welcome back to the channel. Although the 2023-24 season hasn't even finished yet, Newcastle United have made their first sign of the 2024-25 season and that player will be Lewis Hall. Now if you're unaware of Lewis Hall's transfer situation at the minute and you're thinking, well didn't we sign Lewis Hall this season, I've literally seen him play for Newcastle United. Well yes, that is correct, but when Newcastle United signed Lewis Hall, he signed on a one year loan with an obligation to buy. If you don't know what an obligation to buy is, an obligation to buy genuinely is a loan move that has a certain criteria involved if that criteria is to be met that initial loan move will be made permanent now we'll take a look at what that criteria was in this video what Lewis Hall said on making his move to Newcastle United permanent because he has spoke on the issue himself and of course let's take a look at what Newcastle United and Lewis Hall's future could look like on Tyneside so without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's get into the video so yes, ladies and gentlemen, some very, very good news in my opinion, personally. Of course, let me know down below if you were happy with the permanent signing of Lewis Hall, because it is going to be a permanent signing next season. If you are new around here, get down below and subscribe for all Newcastle United content. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. I really, really do appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. So, Lewis Hall to Newcastle United. What was the criteria that was involved in that loan with obligation to buy? That criteria that needed to be met, of course, this is a report by Ben Jacobs, was for Newcastle United to finish above 50 15th in the Premier League table, of course, that fantastic victory against Spurs, bloody hell, what a win that was, ensured mathematically that we cannot finish below 15th, um, I'd like to think we wouldn't either, but look, Lewis Hall is officially a Newcastle United player, because we are mathematically safe above finishing them 15th in the table, pretty much it was always going to be a done deal, Newcastle United, uh, from that criteria, it pretty much ensures us that they always wanted Lewis Hall as uh, a permanent player at Newcastle United, it wasn't just a one-off loan, that pretty uh, gives us the idea that he was going to be ingrained into Newcastle United for a very long time. Eddie Howe's also said he wants New, uh, Lewis Hall at Newcastle United for many years to come and he's certainly got his best years ahead of him. Of course, he is only 19 years old. But let's take a look at what Lewis Hall has said on making his move to Newcastle United a permanent one. And I've just got to say, honestly, I love Lewis Hall, mate. Until you see him and you speak to him in real life, he's such a nice, nurtured lad. He's always happy. He has that positive energy and he kind of brings that on the football pitch as well. But look, enough waffling. This is what Lewis Hall has said on making his move permanent at Newcastle United. I am here now as a Newcastle United player and I really enjoy it. The future looks good for the club with so many young and talented players, it's going in the right direction. And then of course, uh, Lewis Hall, as we know, he's a very versatile player. He can play left back, he can play left wing back as well, which we don't necessarily play for five back, maybe if we're going away to the Etihad. Fingers crossed we don't have to implement like that. Uh, something like that away at the Etihad next season when we've got all of these top class players. But of course for Chelsea, he did play left wing back quite a lot of the time. I think he made about eight appearances over there and he played very well there as well. Quite Quite a uh, few, ironically, quite a, a great few appearances against Man City for Chelsea as well. I don't know why that just came in my head. But he can also play centre mid and, of course, against Manchester City again. I don't know why that keeps popping up in my head. But uh, in the EFL Cup fixture at St James's Park where we beat them 1-0, he started in that fixture and he actually played left wing as well. So all across that left-hand side, he is very, very versatile. The Chronicle Live asked him, what's your best position or where do you sort of favour playing? This is what he had to say. I played a lot of my early senior appearances at left back or left left wing back which of course where he played for Chelsea quite a lot of the time but I like to be versatile and play in other positions if if required. Now Newcastle United have already paid £4 million pounds to Chelsea of course for this loan deal. £24 million is expected to be paid towards the clubs altogether. You don't really have to be a genius to work out that Newcastle United will pay £28 million pounds for the transfer of Lewis Hall. In my opinion ladies and gentlemen honestly I think it's a very very good buy. This season he's not been given that many chances but let's be real in a team where we've got the likes of East Sack, Tonali, of course. We know what's happened this season with the Tonali suspension, all that injury crisis and sort of stuff, where the likes of earlier in the season, Dortmund away, he had to be called upon then. In that game, in the Manchester City in the Cup, I'm going to be honest, look, I'd, I'm here to be truthful, he wasn't very great in them games, was he? But the likes of Fulham away, uh, Everton at home, especially Everton at home, I thought he was great in that game. And what I really like about Lewis Hall, for just being five foot nine, he was getting absolutely targeted every game, every player, every centre-back of the opposing team was absolutely smashing long balls onto him, of course, that's where they were targeted in that team, five foot nine, I mean, you are going to do that realistically, but still, he coped very, very well, and he was absolutely fantastic fantastic in the air as well for being five foot nine but look We've kind of lacked a left back, uh, maybe from the exception of Tino Livermento, although when he's playing on the left, he has to cut in with his right because he is a right-footed player. With the likes of Dan Byrne, he can get forward. He loves to get forward at left back, but he's not very effective there. With Lewis Hall, when he was a uh, left back against Evan at home, for example, we've seen him getting up the pitch, getting crosses into the box, 
pace, getting back. It was absolutely fantastic. That's exactly what I want to say from Lewis Hall. He's 19 years old. Fingers crossed we can see a lot more than that at Tyneside as well. The talent of Lewis Hall is undeniable, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I can't remember exactly when it was, but Gareth Southgate for the Provisional Squad of England, I think it was not the last England squad call-up, but the one before that. Honestly, I can't remember what my, uh, major tournament that was. It might be in the Nations League or something. Honestly, there's too many now, ladies and gentlemen. Just stick it to the Euros and the World Cup. But Gareth Southgate did call Lewis up to the Provisional England men's squad. He didn't get a game. It is just the Provisional one where Gareth Southgate kind of sees players that he wouldn't necessarily include in the squad and see what they're like. Lewis who was playing at Chelsea. Actually, no, he was playing at Newcastle United at the time. I hold my hands up there, which is even better. He didn't actually play a game for Newcastle when that uh, happened, by the way. But look, he called him up to the provisional squad at 19 years old when he's barely had any game time at that time as well. It does kind of show very good glimpses of talent. And of course, he's been involved with many England youth setups very recently as well. He's been away with fellow Newcastle United teammate Lewis Smiley, who, of course, with our injury situation, is out injured as well. But look, like Lewis Hall said, the youth in Newcastle United at the minute is absolutely thriving. I'm going to forget many names, but let's just say, from 23 years and younger, we've got the likes of Sandro Tonali, Anthony Gordon, Jan Covermente out on all. He's absolutely smashing it at Feyenoord. Lewis Miley, Lewis Hall, Tino Livermento, Elliot Anderson. Honestly, the list goes on, ladies and gentlemen. I know I've just forgot so many people. I think Alexander Isak's 24 years old. Although he's the best striker in the world football for me, seriously, he is. He doesn't kind of fit in that bracket. But look, ladies and gentlemen, Lewis Hall for £28 million. He can play left back, left wing back, centre mid, left wing. In my opinion he's 19 years old he's got so much more time to prove him I'm having that every single day of the week and I'm just going to say it one more time it's not just the fact that he is going to be a great footballer and he has shown glimpses of that right now but he's such a nice lad honestly next time I go to the training ground I can't wait to speak to him and he said he watches my TikToks as well which by the way I've never said that before I didn't kind of want to uh, say that on a video but that that put me in a very great mood for the rest of my life so I will always remember that but look Lewis Hall at Newcastle United 28 million pounds rate that down below ladies and gentlemen I'm having that every single day of the week such a bright future already shown glimpses of that as i've said 10 times now but look lewis hall at newcastle united is a done deal that criteria has been met so without further ado ladies and gentlemen i've been jordy josh go and enjoy your day people